Hello, Mike Pinocchio with Network Protocol Specialists. In this video, we're going to take a look at how we can convert a Netgear GS105E Ethernet switch into a network monitoring device. Now, I hate to use the word tap because eh, it's not really a tap, but it will allow us to get in line between a device on the network and the rest of the network and capture the packets using a tool like Wireshark. So here we have a brand new Netgear GS105E switch. So what we're going to do is we're going to come in and we're going to plug in our power. And before we, well, let's go ahead and hook up our Ethernet cable here. And we're going to configure this so that all of the traffic going in and out of port 1 is mirrored over here to port 4. So this will allow us to do something like plug our PC into port 5, plug port 1 into our network, plug our analyzer, like our PC, into port 4, and be able to capture the packets going between our PC and the rest of the network. So let's go ahead and take a look at the software. So here I have the ProSafe Plus configuration utility from Netgear. Now, while I don't normally use these packages for configuring devices, in this case, because of the way that this Netgear switch is set up, this is the only way we can really configure it. So I'm gonna come in and click on Refresh. It's gonna go out and discover all of the switches that I have on my network that can be configured with this utility. There's my GS105E, and I'm gonna click on that switch and click apply, and it's gonna ask for a password, and I'm gonna type in the word password, all lowercase. We'll click log in. So now we're gonna connect into that device, and it's gonna show us some information about it. It gives, we can put in a name, it shows us what ports are up and down. But what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna come in here and click on monitoring. Then I go to mirroring. And I am going to enable mirroring. And I'm gonna say we're gonna mirror port one over to port four. And I'll hit apply. And that's it. So now what we've done is we've set this device up so that all of the packets going in and out of port one will be mirrored over to port four. And this will be persistent through reboot, so I can turn it off, turn it on. The only other thing I would do is I'd go ahead and add a label in that said source for port one, and I might come in and add one that says destination for port four. Now, the one thing that we do need to keep in mind with this particular device, when we set up port mirroring, it reduces the overall throughput between these ports to 500 megabits per second in each direction, which is okay because port four is only a one gig port. So that means that if I can have 500 megabits per second going in and out of port one, then that combined would be one gigabit per second going out of port four. So again, pretty easy way to set up a little device that you can now throw in line and use to capture packets. I hope you find this useful.